I don't know what to make of this. The Brilliant Lab's frame sounds kind of great. They're AI glasses with a micro OLED display, 40 gram weight, that's pretty good, not to mention claimed all day battery life with their Mr. Power accessory. But I've been bamboozled before and anything with AI on it has a huge, huge uphill battle ahead of it to sell me on it. So let's unbox this bad boy and see what we can learn about. Oh, step one, tutorials. Step two, download the app. No, step one, finish unboxing it, then I'll get to the tutorials. We've got a couple of optional nose pieces. I feel smarter already. Oh my God. This is the charging cradle? Okay, that might be the cutest thing I have ever seen. I wanna wear it with it. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, first impressions, I definitely can't completely see through the micro OLED display. There's a bit of a border here where the glass and the other glass interact. However, it's usable. Is this a picture of their team or something? F none of them are wearing it. <laughs> okay, all right, they're a small company, they're a small company. They still gotta work on those little details, like making sure that you're drinking your own Kool-Aid. Nose piece definitely helps a little bit with me. I gotta say, weight distribution, not bad. Like, I could shake these off if I really wanted to, but I'd have to really go full Taylor Swift, you know? And man, it really, it really like sits on the bone there. Oh, do I wanna talk about how it looks? I don't know. Why don't you come talk about how it looks? How do I look? I'm gonna have my hand here just in case I need it. Uh, you look very French. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it, you look very French. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. In like a trendy way or in like a we surrendered immediately way? Uh, like you drank 20 euro espresso. Oh, okay. I'll let you take that as you will. Here's the pogo pin contacts for the cute little nose piece charger, which by the way, is USB-C. You love to see it. <laughs> wow, tiny PCB in here. You know, it's kind of shockingly impressive. Like I don't look at these and go, oh yeah, wow, they're full of electronics. It's hard to hide it because you can see it obviously, but then, I mean, these frames are no thicker than some trendy frames these days, and they've managed to pack a flipping computer into it. The batteries hang out at the end here, which gives them a pretty good balance compared to a lot of VR headsets or smart glasses that I've worn in the past. And the construction feels pretty cheap. Um, so make of that what you will. Oh! I think that was the nose bridge. Sure. Stop bending them. There's a camera right in the front here, which supposedly can be used to ask questions about the world around you and even tell you how many calories you're about to consume. Good freaking luck with that. And the micro OLED display is designed to give an approximately 20 degree diagonal field of view, whatever that means. The main features are visual recognition powered by OpenAI, real-time translation, either live translation from speech or text, although how it plans to do speech translation without speakers is a little confusing. If I have to have my phone out anyway, it sort of raises the question, why couldn't this be an app? AI web search powered by perplexity and image generation. An example they give is asking to see what your couch would look like in a different color. Again, I'm sort of confused as to why I wouldn't just use my phone for that, especially given that, well, who knows? I don't know. I mean, it's got a screen on it, okay? Cool. Am I allowed to use the app now? After you talk about our sponsor. After I talk about our sponsor. NZXT. Their C1500 is a 1500 watt 80 plus platinum certified unit. And this level of efficiency means less power consumption and a cooler, quieter system. It's fully modular so that it's easier and cleaner to cable manage. Plus it's 180 millimeter form factor means more case space and better airflow. See why Cybernetics gave it their titanium rating and get yours today by clicking the link in the video description. Here we go, tutorials. It's always cool when companies put their tutorials on YouTube because you can tell how many people bought it. Oh, wow. Not many. We're gonna go over the process of pairing frame. Ew, vertical video. So, here we go. You just got frame in the mail. Really? 
can tell, you can tell, X Apple. You've got frame in the mail. You've got frame? You got a frame. You got the frame. It's not a proper noun. Stop it. Apple started this with the whole iPhone thing. It's an iPhone, not iPhone. Bring your device close. Oh, it needs the nose on to pair. Hey, frame found, here we go. Now the site claims all day battery with the Mr. Power accessory, but it's not super clear if Mr. Power is a battery bank or not. Updating software, hey, there we go, that was painless. Mostly. After the world's longest update, we're ready to go. Hi, I'm Noah, let me show you around. Tap the side of your frame to wake me up. Whoa, hey, there we go. Oh, there's a sweet spot for sure. If it's a little bit too high, you see upside down here and right side up here. If it's in exactly, ooh, exactly the right spot. Hey, it sounds like you might be talking about adjusting the display settings or lens alignment. Ooh, do you need help with specific adjustments? Sure. Tap me in. Tap to finish. All right, all set. What would you like me to do next? I thought you were going to help me with the display alignment. Okay, there you go. You have to tap it twice. Hmm. It's kind of jarring, like tapping your whole glasses. Make sure to adjust the mounting bracket to level the screen horizontally and ensure the base is secure. How would I rotate this display? Surely that's not a thing, right? No. You used a quarter of my credits? What, what would you do to use a quarter of my credits, Bell? I walk away for what? A couple of hours while they get everything set up and he uses a quarter of my credits. Okay, there's some stuff to talk about here. It's free, but you get a limited number of credits and I think they're working on a paid tier, but it doesn't exist yet. So for now you just have a limited number of credits that you can use for AI tasks like voice to text, uh, responding to your questions or recognizing objects. Can you guys even see this at all? Like, hey Noah, tell me a joke about a giraffe. Oh my God, it doesn't register the tap like half the time. Tell me a joke about, tell me a joke about a giraffe and a priest who walk into a bar. I mean, it's just ChatGPT, right? A giraffe and a priest walk into a bar. The bartender looks up and says, what is this, a height contest? <laughs> I'm laughing, but not for the right reasons. What am I looking at right now? This is quite possibly the least convenient way We're to do anything. In front of a screen displaying abstract digital patterns or graphics. Wait, why can nothing recognize the LGT store Northern Lights desk pad? We've been through this before with that other piece of shit AI thing. Damn it! Can I drink this? No, you can't drink that. It looks like a small electronic device or remote control. How would you describe this snack? I'm actually having more success tapping the right side, even though the computer parts are all over here. It looks like a packaged snack, possibly chips, biscuits, or crackers, but I can't determine the exact type from here. Why not? It's Miss Vicky's, it's made in Canada. It says original recipe right on it. Let's make it a little easier. What kind of snack is this? It's like real, not that comfortable to whack a thing that's sitting on your nose all the time. This is a pack time. of potato chips. Hey, you did it. Is this a healthy snack? Potato chips are typically high in calories, salt, and unhealthy fats, making them not the healthiest snack option. Wow, thanks. Good advice. Is it a good idea to drink this? Would you like more information about healthier alternatives or the nutritional details of these chips? You're fixated on the chips. We're not talking about the chips anymore. This is like arguing with my wife. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yvonne's very good at staying on topic during an argument actually. Too good. Is it a good idea to drink this? Can you show me the drink? That will help me give you a precise answer. I am showing you the barcode of the drink. I thought you could read those. I can't identify the drink directly, but if you tell me the barcode number, I can help with that. <laughs> the barcode number is 629071 
Yeah, this is so much faster than just typing something into my phone. The display is very readable though, as long as you don't have anything too bright the behind it. Number, I can look up more information about the drink for you. B I just gave you the barcode number. The barcode number is 6290710135. The barcode number you provided does not directly indicate the country of origin. Okay, here. Hold on a second. Red Bull f energy drink. Like immediately. Where can I buy these shoes? You can purchase GS1 barcodes from GS1 US. Oh my God, that's not what I'm, I'm not even looking at that. Shut up. Okay, where can I buy these? I didn't hit it again. Please go ahead and ask your question. I am trying to ask you a question right now. Where do I buy these shoes? I swear to God, Vance, your job is so f safe. Please take a clearer photo of the shoes, focusing on any brand name or unique details. What, I'm supposed to describe shoes? <laughs> They're shoe shaped and shoe sized. Uh, they're black, they've got a white sole, green accents, they say they're waterproof. It, it's prompting me to tap it in again. Am I not allowed to talk for that long? I'm taking a picture right now, quick. Okay, I, I don't know when it- purchase Nike shoes with this style from Nike.com. I don't want no Nike shoes. It doesn't even tell you when it's taking the picture. So you just have to like, hold still looking at something forever like a Friggin' idiot! Dude, I wanted to like this thing. It's all like open source and stuff, and it's actually like, makes you look, well, I don't know, you look like kind of a dingus, but you know, like not so bad, and it's not that heavy, but like, dude! Logos or unique patterns on the shoes themselves. Brother! Okay, here, I'm taking a picture of the logo of the shoe. You can buy these Adidas shoes on the official Adidas website, or at popular- How is that Adidas? All day I dream about a f***ing AI that works at all. What? What, you've never heard? Is this not a thing? No. Adidas? I'm not gonna do this with it. Yeah, yeah, it's totally a thing. <laughs> Translation would be impossible unless what you're saying is like one sentence. Generate an image of a shoe that is both fashion forward and timeless. These white minimalist low top sneakers are both fashion forward and timeless. You didn't generate <sighs> Hello? Is it off? Does it even have an on off button? Man, when did on off buttons go out of fashion? Where's all the info on the glasses? Mind you, who cares? I mean, it's not like you're ever gonna actually use them. Okay, Mr. Power, can you turn it on? Hey, there we go. Generate a version of this picture where all the guys are wearing Brilliant Labs frame glasses and they look unhappy. Here is the image you requested. <laughs> Honestly, kind of cooler glasses. Hold on, can I open this? No. No, what? I can't even, I can't, I can't even interact with it. <laughs> this is so stupid. And look, I know, okay, I know, this is the kind of thing where, like, we gotta start somewhere, and it's a startup, and, you know, all that stuff, and everything, and such, but you're charging $350 for it, brother, and you say it does a bunch of things. I'm gonna generate another image. Generate an image of a delicious drink, kind of like this one. I need a photo in order to generate an image. Okay, then. Take one, you have a camera. The drink in front of you seems to be an orange can, possibly an energy drink or soda, with blue and white text or designs on its label. Good. Generate an image of a drink like this one, but make it look delicious. Here is the image you requested. I don't think there's much else to explore here. If you buy this for $350, you're getting fleeced. <laughs> look, these guys don't even wear it. Subscribe to Short Circuit. I feel like a sucker.